Hello there guys and welcome back to my channel and this video will be another version how what if asked our chain by Goku should have end for now so I hope you enjoy it but before I start the video I have to tell you that you have to watch it to the end because in the end I'll explain why I did that plus I'm going to leave a poll in the end which version you prefer and with that out of the way let's begin this part Everything stays the same until the defeat leaked or pottery I mean, dark elf pottery. Then everyone can sense the weird magic demon magic is coming toward them. Asta quickly used telekinesis to move Mimosa and Rai out of the way. And everyone used their magic but it didn't work then Asta used his anti-magic and it did work on the, on the spell. Then Nozel told them he's going to help the others. Asta think quick on his feet. Yeah I know Asta thinking what a joke. Then Asta tell him, this gooey stuff is just moving forward so it's going to attack the others. It will be safer for them if we bring them here. Noza tell him, what is your idea kid? Asta tell him, create a large platform from his magic. Noza oblige and create the platform. Then Asta put two fingers on his forehead and tell him, I will be right back. Then Asta teleport, everybody was shocked. Noza tell you no. Did your friend just teleport? Ah, oh, you know tell him, I don't really know. Meanwhile, Asta grab everyone and teleport them toward Nozel. After he finished, everybody is uh, in shock. Nozel asks him how he can teleport and explain that he learned a technique from his master and a bunch of more techniques that work on key. Nozel shook his head and tell him, okay. Then they fly toward the word magic demon. When they arrive, they see the word magic demon and they are terrified. Then they see Licked and the wizard king just show up. Everybody is speechless. This is the first wizard king. How? Then everybody shift their focus toward the word magic demon because he's the real threat here. And without wasting time, the first wizard king and Licked attack the word magic demon. And like the original, they are faster than him. They do the combo and before the word magic demon attack the first wizard king, Asta join in in his black form with a powerful kick to the head, sending him flying. Then Asta tell the first wizard king, need a hand? The first wizard king smiled at him, sure. Then the demon start talking to Asta and tell him, Your power is from one of my kind. I know you can hear me inside the grimoire. You can keep it. Consider it a gift. But you have to take control over that body quickly. And know your place in the pecking order. During this time, Lick had enough and used his ultimate sword technique. Almost killing the demon. But he can regenerate. Everybody's ticking, so what should we do now? And before you can think of anything, Asta raised his sword and fired a dark snatch at the demon. And he barely misses, because his darkness is powerful but it's a bit slow to the demon. Lect is impressed, then he tell him how can he do with that with that sword. Asta explained that he gathered his energy or key inside his sword and fire it. Yunu get the idea and start gathering magic around him and create his new spell, Spirit or Zephyr. Then Asta to not get cocky and he's the one to become the wizard king. Asta tell him, yeah, yeah, keep on dreaming. Then Asta ask Licked, so the other sword, do have another power that not, I did not tap into yet? Licked tell him, yes, but you have to figure that yourself, because these swords are yours now. I'm just borrowing it for a second, after this fight I'll give it back to you. Then Mirona interject him and tell them, Asta, how can you talk this carefree personality with our enemy? Asta tell him, he was never our enemy. She tell him, how do you know that? Asta tell her, because I'm alive, sim for you know. Just think about it for a second. Even if he was half asleep, he was stronger than us, so why he let us go without killing us? Plus the other elf that we save along the way, confirm my suspicions. The elf are just been used by that ugly flying thing. You called him a demon? Licked not. Okay, he's a demon. And literally everybody is shocked. Asta thinking, and he actually makes sense. So yeah, they are surprised. Then the word magic demon had enough. He used his storm blade or tempest of blade or whatever you want to call it. Everybody start dodging and they resume the fight. And the demon, he know that he is in disadvantage. 
he have licked and the way first wizard king and they are faster than him and they have this magic boy that he can use demon power and he is almost as fast as him then you have the other one that can use spirit magic and you don't have to forget that Patri is there with his demon light magic so he's basically outmatch then he opened up his grimoire and used that magic that creates teeth or whatever you want to call it basically and threatened everyone's life except Asta because he's unaffected but he doesn't know in this part and before Licht and first wizard can do anything Asta see that a bunch of teeth are going to attack their friends so he borrow a move from Crane and fire a beam toward the group then the attack curve and Asta yell scatter bullet and the beam displayed to multiple ones and attack all the teeth at once destroying them and demon is actually worried this time because this kid just used a powerful attack and he don't sense any magic in him so he keep an eye out for Asta because he's the most tricky of all of them on the other hand everybody is surprised by Asta technique then Asta tell them this is just temporary I can't keep protecting you in the fight then the first wizard king and Lake tell Asta let us protect your friends but you have to defeat the demon Asta smile and leave it to me then you know jump in and tell him don't you think that you're going to leave me out to fight Asta smile tell him okay let's go in his way which is yelling they charge the demon and they are almost equal in speed because in this scenario Asta is very strong and using teamwork they close the gap between them and the demon in power Asta uses his technique that learned from the Z fighters mainly the after image technique I'm some Queen Zan after taking the demon off guard they use the combo technique spirit kamehameha at which the demon just smile and tell return Asta think that the bless is returning to him but the demon makes sure that the bless go toward the group Asta yell at them to move out the way but the bless is way faster than they thought so Asta uses instant transmission to teleport in front of the blast and deflecting it by using Kaioken times 4 and you know he did decide to transform from his black form and use Kaioken separately and the blast did some damage to Asta no one yet and Asta tell him is he okay Asta smiled him yeah I'm okay so I don't have to worry Asta fly down toward the group and ask him if everybody is okay everybody nod then Chami tell him so why don't you use the other technique again on him and try to hit him this time Asta say silence and tell her it would be too risky and Chami tell him but you did deflect it so Asta tell her it's just too risky and flies off then Nozatela, I think that attack used quite a lot of his power. Yami tell him, that's not it. It's not risky for him, it's risky for us. Nozatela tell him, what do you mean? Yami tell him, in Blemen's term, we are in his way. So let's go back to Asta. Asta is flying to straight toward the demon. Power up to Kaioken times 4. This increase in speed, take the demon off guard. He's as fast as licked. Asta land some solid hit on the demon then he looked at Yuno and Yuno know what's going to happen then Asta power up to Kaioken times 10 and the demon will push away by sheer Asta's aura then Yuno come from above him and cut him in half using his sword he think that he cut his heart but then the demon revealed that his heart can move or his heart is not at the same place anymore Asta fire one more key blast to attack the demon's heart but the demon for now he's always keep an eye on Asta so he just dodged the blast barely but he did dodge it then he used his healing magic again to heal himself meanwhile the first wizard king and Lick start losing power Chami fly toward them and give them something to eat replenishing their mana so Asta don't have to worry about that then demon yell get back he push back Asta and you far away they are heading straight toward the ground that is covered with the demon word magic uh, spell or something Let's call it lava from now on, the other word lava. And before they make contact with it, Asta used the telekinesis one more time, stopping Yuno and apparently sacrificing himself. Everybody think that Asta is dead because they can't sense Ki. Then Yami tell them don't worry, he's alive. Then Asta burst from the other world lava, screaming and panicking. Then they realize that the, the magic don't work on him because he have no mana. So yeah, that's a plus, I think. Then Demon realized that his spell is not going to kill Asta and he's the one to protect his friends so then he tell Asta will you sacrifice yourself for your friends Asta is dumbfounded and then the demon tell come here look at Noel and Noel comes straight toward them she is terrified and before she arrived the demon yell lightning spear and it headed straight toward her the spear is moving at such speed no one have enough time to move except for Asta he used his instant transmission to teleport in front of the spear he turned around grabbed Noel and got hit in the back pretty badly 
Ikafab some blood, then tell him, are you okay? Just ask a smile as best as he can, tell her, don't worry, I'm fine. Then the demon tell him, you're still alive, you're a tough one, aren't you, little brat? But let's see what you can do about this. Tempest of blades. So what you want to do? Leave your friend to die and dodge or protecting her. So you choose kid. And before no one can say anything, Asasa grabbing her tightly more and more. Then he tell him, I will never let her go. I don't care who I'm going to fight. And I don't care where. I'll always be there to protect her. I'll go behind my limits if I have to. Then Asta power up to Kaioken times 10. Then he starts increasing his power more and more and more. His hair spike up. Then he reached a large amount of ki. Then he transformed to Kaioken times 20. Then he vanished from everybody's sight. And he appeared in front of the demon kicking him in the head. Breaking his neck. Then Asta fly toward the group. When he arrived, he fall to his knees, coughing up some blood. Then Asta tell them, I'm sorry guys. Yami yeah, tell him, don't worry kid, you did your best. Asta tell him, no, sorry for putting you in danger. But you have my word. I will end this nightmare right here, right now. Then Asta start getting up. Some type of fire start emanating from his wounds and his back. Then the wounds heal on their own. Everybody is shock. They can't sense magic from Asta, but he just used some healing magic. Then Asta starts powering up. His aura is vi visible to everyone. Then somehow his aura go inside his body and another one come out. He's redder, almost like a flame. He closes his eyes and when he opens them, they are red. Then shortly after, his hair turned red. Everybody is speechless. They don't know what just Asta just do, but Yami know. Then he tell Asta, you did it kid. You actually did it. Asta smiled at him, yep. Don't you think that a year that it spent in my master world just go in vain? I trained harder than ever and almost think I was going to die, but I think the train paid off. I can't tap in godly key. Nozel tell him, godly key. Even the elf are a bit shocked and suspicious. Sure, they cannot sense key, but the pressure that Asa is letting off is almost godlike. Almost the... Sorry guys, completely forgot the name of the 10th elf that got blessing. So you know what I mean. The demon looked at Asa tell him, oh, you just changed color, so what about it? Asa tell his friends, give me a second, then we can all go home. Asa just vanished from that sight and appeared in front of the demon. They think he just used teleportation, but no, Asa is just using his own speed. Then demon tell him, so you just transform and get cocky, huh kid? And before he can finish his sentence, Asa gut punch him and demon cover up blood. And Asa tell him, this is for killing the elves. And Asta punch him again and tell him And this is for using them as your puppets And the punch was more than enough to break the demon jaw And send him flying And doing quite some damage to the scenery around them Then Asta vanish again and appear behind him And tell him This is for the club for kid and Ivan you just killed and hurt He punch him again and doing more damage than the previous one Sending him flying to the other direction Then demon use all his strength to stop then he start yelling How could you? You're, you're lowly human Then Asta vanish from his head and put in front of him Then he Tell him, and this is for hurting Noel. And he finished him off Vegeta style by putting two hands on his chest and literally just blowing him up, leaving nothing, not even a threat of dust. Everybody is speechless. Did did we just win? Everybody is happy. Nero thank Asta again for everything. Asta fly into our group and tell them, well, I think that's done. Then they see that the other world, lava is not stopping. Asta tell him, well. Let me uh, take care of that. His eyes glow redder than ever, and he gathered all the lava in one place and used a small key blade to dispose of it. Everybody is shocked just how much power did Asta have. Then everybody leave the black castle. When they leave, Patri tell Asta to use his demon destroyer sword on him. They do that. They use the combined magic keys and licked and used the Asta demon destroyer sword. So basically, the same happened. Then before everybody go, Lect looked at Asta and tell him, "Thank you." Asta smite him, you're welcome. Then first with the king tell Licht, I'll be there with you in short moments. I'm almost out of magic, so don't worry. Licht smite him, I'll be waiting for you. Then Nero have her goodbye with the first with the king. But before he go, Asta look up in the sky and see or sense that his master, or I mean Goku, is coming toward him. He is wondering how he got here. Usually he just teleport and appear from nowhere. But this time he can sense his key coming. Then he sense that he's with Beerus and Vegeta and Whis. So he just figure out that he come with Whis. Then the four of them land on the ground. Everybody is worried about them. Then Asa tell him, don't worry. He's my master and his friends. Asa run toward them and tell them, what? Why are you here, guys? Then Whis tell him, well, Goku keep insisting to bring him here. And you know what he want to do with you. Then Whis tell him, you did a good job against the demon. Asa tell him, what? 
how did you know then we use his staff and show him the fight then we stand him actually he press you are the first human that I've ever seen that can use god key then the bill start turning and them to quickly and got out of their business goku looked at asta and gave him the look it's time Asta nod at him and this time not only Goku but Vegeta so Asta is going to fight Goku and Vegeta at the same time I know it's overkill but you will see what I mean what I mean then we shot Asta to him not hold back this time like he did against the demon uh, everybody is shocked Asta was holding back against him so how much power did he have Asta starts screaming and powering up more and more and more then he him to his red form and Goku and Vegeta follow him and him to god form not blue god form they go in the position and asta is really careful how to move he slowly approach them like goku do in the tournament of power against jiren then asta fire a key blast at both of them they both of them dodge and asta follow behind his key blast and fight begin and asta is weak let's say he's weaker than vegeta not by a large amount but still weaker than him during the fight it's clearly that asta is having a hard time against both of them then beerus tell waste don't you think that both of them at once is a bit too much for him? We tell him, well, I don't know about that with a smile on his face. Beerus tell him, I know that face. You know something that I don't know, right? He said him, well, maybe, maybe not. Beerus just grin and continue watching the fight. And he realized that Asta movement are a bit different. Right now, a moment ago he was losing, but right now, he's holding his own pretty good against both of them. Even he's still weaker than them, but how he can hold his own? After close inspection, they see Asta's moves are really, really similar to Ultra Instinct. Just a bit. Sometimes when he dodge, he dodge like Ultra Instinct. Like, not always, but sometimes. Beerus looked at Whistle him. Did you teach this kid how to tap into Ultra Instinct? Whistle him. No, I did not. I just knew that this kid have a strong instinct or something. Even without thinking, his body is still moving. He's really something else. And Goku and Vegeta realize that Asta's movement are almost like Ultra Instinct. So they don't hold back, but are still in the god form. They know if they're going to blue, they're just going to dismantle Asta. The fight rages on and everything is shaking. And everyone is just wondering how did Asta have this much power all along? And how he get it? Then you know tell them Asta was always strong. But I never thought it would be this strong. Then we tell them he was not strong like superhuman strong, but after some training that I realized that Asta can adapt quickly, like super quickly. Each time we train in different method, he quickly adapt to that method. You could see he's a prodigy I never seen before. So let's go back to the fight. Goku and Vegeta know that they have to finish it right now. So they power up their own Sijikino technique, the Kamehameha and the final flash. And Asta raise his key as much as he can and start powering up a full power Kamehameha on his own. They fire their blast, Goku and Vegeta blast merge and they form the final Kamehameha and it clash with Asta Kamehameha and needless to say Asta's Kamehameha is getting pushed back. Asta is losing every inch of his power but it's not enough. He's losing ground quickly. Then a voice inside his head telling him to use his power. Use it right now. The voice is coming from the anti-magic demon telling him to use his power. Asta obliged and use his dark form on top of his god key. Once again. In this what if, I'd say that like Asta black form is like two and a half multiplier. Normal black form, not black divider black form. So his first stage of his black form is two and a half multiplier. And then increase in power, give him the edge on the fight temporarily. Goku and Vegeta see their blasts are getting pushed back, so they just power up to blue. Not full power blue, but more powerful than Super Saiyan God. They quickly push back Asta Kamehameha or black Kamehameha and Asta was engulfed in the final Kamehameha whoa there is a lot of Kamehamehas in this sentence everybody see that Asta just got engulfed in the blast then they see him fall from the sky crash into the ground Goku and Vegeta descend and they see if Asta is okay they approach him and Asta is slowly standing up then he tells them not yet I'm not done yet and he slowly walk up to them Vegeta tell him you fight very well kid but you lose this one and prepare a chop to the neck but before he can connect Asta grab his hand and the familiar aura starts surrounding Asta's body Goku tell him no way then Asta open his eyes and the moment he do his eyes and hair turn grey Vegeta tell him no way ultra instinct and before he can finish his sentence Asta knee him to the gut making Vegeta fall down from super saiyan blue and on his knees gasping for air then the group can see Asta hair turn grey it's almost like silver 
then Yami make the remark that she is almost like a, from a civil family. Then Asta D transformed her onto her instinct and fought the ground exhausted. And Whis is just enjoying it. He never knew that another mortal can use Ultra Instinct, not alone using the master version of Ultra Instinct. Then Yami tell them what is this Ultra Instinct. Whis explained what Ultra Instinct is and everybody is shocked that Asta can even tap into it. Then Whis tell them I think Asta is finished with Ultra Instinct for now. I think this is going to be a one time thing, at least for now. Then Whis heal Asta, Asta wake up. Goku thank him for the fight and I'm glad to see you also in Ultra Instinct. Vegeta is a bit upset. Okay, he's upset that Asa tapping in Ultra Instinct and damage him, but he's proud of him. Then we tell Asta, why don't you come back with us to our world? I don't mind having you as a student there. So what do you think? Then Goku is is a bit happy. He tells Asta, oh, we can train with us every day and we can get stronger together. So what do you think, Asta? Asta take for a second and tell him, Master. Thank you for everything. It's not for you. I think I will never be this strong. But sorry, I can't accept your proposition. Like Lord Beerus said, you have your world to protect and I have my own to protect. Everybody smile. Then go tell him, fair enough. Well, I think this is goodbye for now. For now. Asta smile back. Then Vegeta and Goku head toward Whis. Then Beerus yell at Asta. Yo, brat. No. Asta, was it? You better train hard because I think you have another rival and it is me with a smile on his face. I said to him I will take you on anytime, anywhere, but in one condition, don't kill me. Beerus smiled at him, we'll see about that. Then he put his hand on Whis and they teleport or fly toward Universe 7. Then come the revelation that Whis is not actually dead, following that Asta was arrested to cover for the whole attack on the capital. But Asta is having none of that when they see they going to attack Marine. So he quickly appeared before them, just power up and fly. And everyone said flying. Then he tell him that he is not with him in his sense of justice. And he says of justice is just corrupted. Then the black boots attack the court and they demand Asta back. Nero tell them to just get Asta and get out of here. But Yami is having none of that and make her a part of the black balls and make her a member from the black balls then everybody have their magic weekend then Asta use his new spell demon destroy your sword fate reverse I believe everybody get their power back then Nozel and Figonian appear and the same happen in anime and I think uh, that's it for this part oh sorry completely forgot about this why Asta did manage to put in ultra instant because of a couple of things in original anime we did see Asta that can adapt really quickly First thing, he can sense key even like in instant. Yami just tell him how he sense key after like a couple of seconds he can sense it. And doing their fight I believe in an underwater temple, he adapt to someone's skill or completely forgot his name, sorry guys. So basically Asta adapt to his movement and copy it. And when the witch controlled Asta, Asta was able to stop himself, even the witch tell him how he can stop himself his unconscious. And if you know proof about how Asta can attack, from the first episode that Asta was Magnum, Magna. The narrator did say that Asta when all thought shut down, Asta's body moved on its own. So I just take that idea and make it more powerful, that's it. <laughs> so I think that's it for the explanation and this is the real outro so hope you enjoyed. If you do drop a like and tell me what you think of it in comment section and if you're not around here, go to subscribe and peace.